Windows it's up. So in a previous video I showed you talked about uh, Team Redbiner B mode, and this is my uh, Hive OS 4 RX 5700 XT minor rig. So I got all the cards down to 690, um, 685, 690, but this one is stuck at 725, and if I go below 725, it crashes. As you can see here, dead card, GPU zero. So let me show you the actual real uh, power consumption. That's what it is right now. So it's actually really pulling about 706, 675, 681. Um, so I had a theory behind this. So GPU zero is connected to an HDMI cable to my monitor. So I thought maybe because it's connected to my monitor, it has to enable like the video out subsystem, which is actually using more energy, more power. So just as an experiment, I wanted to disable this from the uh, HDMI cable and uh, connect it to uh, onboard or enable the onboard video card. Normally you wouldn't really want to do this. I've done this on other rigs too. It's not really, you can see when you actually have HD graphics right here. So it's not, I mean, what's funny is I don't usually have a problem with Hive OS, but in NiceHash OS, sometimes it will, on AMD cards, it will actually prevent the, uh, you know, temp and uh, fan all, all the information about the GPU to go into uh, nice Ash OS. So, all right, so I'm going to go back into the mining rig and I'm going to show you the before and after power consumption. And I'm going to hook up a VGA cable to the bottom. Uh, it's an ASUS, ASUS mining motherboard. I'm going to hook up a VGA cable to it and see what happens. All right, so here is the mining rig in question. And that's the HDMI cable. And that's GPU zero, so I'm thinking because that's actually the default monitor out, it's sucking down more power. Um, this is the other red guy I just showed you. Um, and I actually, normally, if I need to switch the monitor over, I just go like that. I just plug into this one. And this is actually my 3D printed uh, little monitor stand, keyboard shelf. All my Thingiverse page and all that stuff. Um, like all the stuff on this rig is power supply mount and all that stuff. So this is an ASUS Mining motherboard, I mean, four GPUs, but. So I'm gonna run a VJ cable from here and then go back and enable the onboard video. But I probably need to have this connected first because it's not gonna have a video output. And there should be a VGA cable on the back of this spot. Then I have to change the input. I'm currently running about 567 watts. And my thought is this might be a trade-off. I don't know if this is gonna work or not because if I enable the onboard video, then uh, I'm gonna be actually enabling the video uh, the GPU on the actual processor, that's a core, uh, I think it's a core i5. Um, so I'd actually be enabling that, so that's going to be using more power. So I don't know if it's going to be a trade-off here to which one's going to be, if I'm actually going to save any power or not. So, um, alright, so I'm going to go into the BIOS. i got to shut this down and go into the BIOS here. Alright, so I'm going to enable the internal graphics here. So this is, like I said, this is, a, or excuse me, it's not Ace, it's a Gigabyte motherboard. Um, alright, I'm going to do that to... Let's do auto, see what happens. This motherboard does actually have some pretty cool features uh, since it's a mining board, motherboard. So you need to go to uh, under peripherals here and go to onboard uh, or initial display output and switch it from PCI slot 1, which is the 16x slot motherboard, to IGFX, that's the internal graphics. And then, okay, save and exit. And I gotta switch the input on this thing. Alright, so I'm back in Hive OS again, and as you can see, the HD graphics 5530. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna start bringing this down here. So we're currently mining, up and running, still pulling 76 watts. So I'm gonna slowly edge this down and see if I can, uh, if it becomes unstable again, then I'm just gonna go back the way it was. But this is just an experiment here. So I'm gonna go down to, let's say, 715. And I'm just going to slowly keep on going down. And actually, I'm going to clean this out so you don't have to see it. We can start fresh here. And so, 706 was what it was pulling before I, I just brought it down. And it seems to run a couple, you know, maybe like uh, 5 or 10 below what. See, there it goes, 700. So it just went down. So. Alright, I'm going to bring it down again a little bit. 
Well, I'm only going to let this go for a couple minutes, and then I'll, uh, I want to see if I have any crashes. Alright, so I just had a crash. I actually kind of got aggressive and brought it out to 690, and, uh, it did crash. So sometimes you got to start it from scratch. And everything thing, too, is starting the rig. So, uh, when this thing was too low, I couldn't even start the, the mining process. So, usually, yeah, uh, GPU Zero is the first one that uh, tries to fire up. So, I mean, maybe it's just a, I mean, every single GPU has a mind of its own. It's all, they're all unique. They're not 100%, so you just got to figure out what's best for each card. All right, so the miner restarted. Got another, uh, another dead. All right, so I'm going to bring this back up to uh, 710 here. Or not 710, but I'm just going to go back up to 700. All right, so at 700, it seems to be a little bit more stable, and it's pulling 687. I mean, I guess I could try 695 and see what happens. <laughs> just push this thing, see what happens. All right, 695. And this is how you do it. I mean, it takes a while. You crash your system a lot of times. Um, all right, so it's been going for a couple minutes with the uh, 695, and as you can see here, uh, 681, 685. So, um, I mean, this is actually a success because before this GPU wouldn't even start if it was anything below 725. The, the miner wouldn't start, and this thing would crash right away. So. The experiment was, I mean, that definitely proved that having that thing, the video out subsystem enabled, drew more power. But the power consumption seems about the same. So I'm going to go back to the rig. And actually, no, it's down right now. I'm going to go back to the rig and I'll show you another thing I'm going to try real fast. But it, it does fluctuate. But all right. All right. So it is a little bit lower. I mean, this does fluctuate a lot. So it's not perfect. Or we fluctuate because while it's mining, it fluctuates. As it changes difficulty, and it will actually randomly change B modes. Um, so 562. I never thought too is if I disable this, maybe this will help disable the onboard video subsystem. Ah, see, look at that it went down. So even just having the monitor connected actually uses a few watts. I mean, I thought that would be possible because it would, you know, it, it, it would enable the actual output. So it would almost like kind of go to sleep. I, that's just a theory of mine. I don't know. <laughs> A little bit. Hey, it in counts. All right, cool. Experiment success. All right, so that definitely made a little difference. It took took off a couple watts. Um. So another benefit is the fact that by undervolting these cars more, it's going to actually make them run cooler. So that in turn will also make the fans go slower, which will then save more power. So 557. It's going down. Wow. So when I started this whole BMO project, um, Team Raider, Team Raider Minor, well, went up again, 558, but I mean, I, I'm saving about 60 watts. So that's pretty huge. I mean, that's a whole GPU saved. All right, guys, cool. Hope this video helped somebody. So if you're wondering why you can't, your GPU, like one GPU, won't actually undervolt as much as the others, uh, probably the cable. All right.